My name is Kara. My husband and I have a travel YouTube channel and I am the editor in the relationship. To date, I've created over 850 videos on our channel, all using Adobe Premiere Pro. And today, I'm gonna show you a new feature that I just discovered called Camera to Cloud. So I don't edit our vlogs all by myself anymore. Now, I collaborate with two awesome editors to create a video for our channel every single week. Since Nate and I are on the road 24 seven and literally never ever in the same place as our editors, it can make collaborating and communicating pretty difficult. And there are a lot of steps involved when trying to put an entire video together from across the world from each other. For example, our editors are both in the US and we are currently in India, hence, the henna tattoos. Literally as far away as I could possibly be from them. But thankfully Adobe has lots of tools that help the collaborating process go much more smoothly and saves us a ton of time. We've been using Frame.io to collaborate on edits for two years now and we absolutely love it. Now that Frame.io and Adobe are integrated, great things are happening. In case you don't know the way Frame.io works, as soon as our editors are done with version one of our video, they can upload directly to Frame from Premiere, and Nate and I can go in and leave all of our comments and feedback throughout the whole thing directly on the timeline. It's the best. I honestly don't know how anybody else does it without Frame.io. And now it's even better. Now I can even send footage over to our editors directly from our phone to Frame.io through the Filmic Pro app. So Nate and I film majority of our footage on our DSLR camera, but it never fails every single video that we're making, at some point I film with my phone. And that can be for a few reasons. It seems like every time we don't have our camera with us and we're not planning on filming, something spontaneous happens and we have to shoot it. So I'll use my phone in that scenario. Or there are some situations where a giant camera with the big microphone on it just draws a lot of attention. So if we're around a lot of people or somewhere we're not supposed to be filming, we'll use our phone to be a little more low key. So even though I film with my phone all the time, for some reason, I always forget to include the phone clips with the rest of the footage when I send it over to our editors. Like pretty much 10 out of 10 times I forget. Don't ask me why. A lot of the time I end up frantically sitting it over at the last second. But Camera to Cloud has changed that. Just so you know how big of a deal this is, before Camera to Cloud, I would film stuff with my phone, then I would forget I took it, then at the last second I would frantically be going through my photos app, finding the videos that I need, I would airdrop them to my computer, import them into my project, create low resolution proxy file, because we're usually in the middle of nowhere and I don't have enough reception to send full resolution files. And then our editor finally has access to them. That's a lot of steps. So anytime there is a tool that removes steps, that's a win. But now the videos I take on my phone automatically upload to Frame.io. No more steps, zero. This makes our lives so much easier. Let me show you how. All I have to do is film on the Filmic Pro app. So I'm opening the Filmic Pro app. This button is where I can change all of my settings. So right now I have my frame rate set to 30 frames per second. Press the screen to go back. My resolution is in 1080p. I've also connected my app to my Frame.io account. It actually says Nate's account, but it's really mine. And the exact folder that I want the clips to be uploading to. Instead of 1080 under proxy quality, I've chosen 720 because I want as low res as possible so I can just get them to my editor as quickly as possible. And for upload method, I have prompt, which I will show you soon. There are all kinds of other settings in here, but for now, I'm just going to put it on wide angle, press record. Hello. So I'm recording this video on my phone just like I would. And as soon as I'm done recording, because I selected prompt, this window pops up that asks me if I wanna upload directly to Frame.io. Now, if I was out and I didn't have any cell phone service or I didn't wanna use my data on my phone, I would just press skip and upload it whenever I got back to the hotel with Wi-Fi. But right now I'm going to press yes. It's creating a low resolution proxy file. It is uploading and it is complete. That's it. Here on my desktop, I have my Premiere Pro project pulled up, which I'm gonna be using for our India video. And as you can see up here where I've signed into my Frame.io account, when I click on cloud devices, here is the video we just shot. Instant. Now, if I pull up the desktop version of Frame.io, here is my India project, which my editor already has access to. When I click on this folder now, here's the video we just 
took. Now all she has to do is download straight from Frame.io into Premiere. So as we're out and about filming in India this week, every time I take a video on my phone, it's gonna go directly to our shared project in Frame.io. No more forgetting about the videos on my phone. Another scenario where Camera to Cloud is going to be super helpful is when my editor is working on this video. If she sees that we need another clip or maybe the one I took had bad audio or the lighting messed up, all she has to do is leave a quick comment and say, hey, could you redo this? Next time you're in a tuk-tuk, can you make sure you get a shot of the steering wheel or whatever it is? Right then and there, I can take it and she can be editing as we're filming. We are living in the future. As you can see, Camera to Cloud is going to save us so much time and effort, and I hope you're as excited as I am about this. Especially if you film primarily on your phone, it's a no-brainer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave comments in the description below if you have any questions, and thank you so much for watching. Happy editing.